Hi, I'm Malcolm, the developer of Wear Installer. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Dexcom G6 watch face onto a watch running an older version of Wear OS, like my Huawei watch here. Firstly, I'm going to make myself a developer. Let me go to settings. Let me go to system. About and tap on the build number until I get a message to say I'm a developer. Now you'll find a developer options. Um, developer options has been added to the menu. Let's go into it and let's enable ADB debugging. Yes, I'm sure. And make sure that debug over Wi-Fi is also enabled. Then just come out of developer options and go back in. And you'll see there that it's found the IP address of the watch on, uh, on my local network. And we're going to need this IP address uh, in a moment for, uh, for Wear Installer. So uh, 192.168.1.179, uh, your IP address obviously will be different from that. Let me bring in my Android phone and open Wear Installer. There's some explanation about uh, how it works, but the uh, the important thing is to uh, make sure that the IP address of your watch is uh, is entered uh, in this field. You can see I've already done it. And then press done. Now, you'll see a list of all the installed apps and Dexcom G6 is there. Let's tap on it. Uh, the phone and watch are trying to make a connection over Wi-Fi. Let's allow that on the watch. Now let's let's select install and see what happens. Now, unfortunately, this watch is running a version of Wear OS that's too old for uh, for Wear Installer, and it's giving me a message saying broken pipe. So we're going to use another method to uh, to install the watch face. Let's, uh, let's restart, and this time let's long tap Dexcom G6, and it offers me the option to, uh, to save the Wear OS uh, APK into the downloads folder on my, uh, on my phone, and let's say save. Now we're gonna come out of Wear Installer, Exit, and we're going to use another app, uh, not one of mine, but a free app on the uh, on the Google Play Store called Easy Fire Tools. Um, and let me just enter that app, tap the hamburger menu, and settings, and again enter the IP address of your watch here, and you can see I've already done it. Let's go back and there's a little connection icon here let's tap it once again on the watch let's say okay and let's say continue here and it's come up with a message to say the phone and watch are now connected so let's go to custom APK file, select file, and you can see Dexcom G6 Wear.apk is there. Uh, that's, the, uh, that's the APK that Wear Installer put there a moment ago. Let's select that and select install. Yes. Now Easy Fire Tools is going to transfer the app from the phone to the watch. And this is going to take just a little bit of time and we'll have to be patient. But uh, it's, connect it's connected over, uh, over Wi-Fi uh, on the local, local area network. And it's uh, taking the Wear APK that we put in the downloads folder and it's sending it over Wi-Fi from the phone to the watch. I just got a message there to say operation successful. 
So we can now disconnect and <clears throat> let's turn off ADB debugging on the on the watch so that we don't use too much battery when we don't need to. Now, if I go to my current watch face and long tap, it gives me options for more watch faces. And if I scroll down, I can see there that Dexcom CGM is uh, is one of the options. So uh, it's easy to uh, to select that and use that as as uh, the uh, the watch face. Now, if you uh, if you get this message, then uh, just restart your watch and uh, and your phone, and hopefully the uh, the two devices will find each other, and you'll be able to use the Dexcom watch face uh, from there. So. Uh, so that, just a reminder now, uh, Easy Fire Tools is available from the Google Play Store and Wear Installer is available from my Freepop website along with all my other apps. So that's it for now. I hope this has been useful. Uh, thanks for watching and see you again soon.